good morning students today we start our third topic which one is area of a triangle so already we complete the distance formula and the section formula so here the last topic is area of a triangle so in earlier classes we have already studied how to calculate the area of a triangle if the base and height or altitude given to you so that's why here the first formula which one we get in class 9 all this one we written here which one is area of a triangle and it is half into base into height is it clear so now here if the base and height not given to you if the vertices are given then also we can find out the area of a triangle since in class 9 we get there another formula to find out the area of a triangle which one is Heron's formula but here except this Heron's or this area of a triangle the basic formula we apply another one where the vertices are given and the formula is here given you see area of a triangle is equal to half into the three vertices are here x1 y1 x2 y2 and x3 y3 so that's why half into x1 into y2 minus y3 plus x2 into y3 minus y1 plus x3 into y1 minus y2 this one is a formula or this formula we can write in another way also which one is half into x1 y2 minus y1 x2 plus x2 y3 minus y2 x3 or x3 y1 minus y3 x1 is it clear so now here this one is the formula of area of a triangle so there are some techniques are to remember these formulas let's see the first one how can we apply so that's why here one and two two techniques are given to you to how to remember the formulas now first of all what you have to do we have to draw a circle and we have to put the direction in clockwise direction so here we write one two and three now the first formula the first formula how can we remember with the help of this one so what you have to do according to the formula you have to write half into this sign all of you know this one is known as modulus whatever here the sign given here this sign is known as modulus so what you have to do x1 then bracket plus x2 then bracket then plus x3 we have to put bracket so this one is very easily we can remember x1 x2 x3 so in bracket how can we remember the result y2 minus y3 how can we write so now you see here if we write x1 then in bracket what you have to write in clockwise direction we put then after that what we get 2 and this what is 3 so this two order we write we have to write down the y coordinate so x1 we write in bracket you have to write y2 minus y3 you see here we write y2 minus y3 plus if you write x2 if you write x2 then according to the clockwise direction what you have to write y3 minus y1 you see here y3 minus y1 we write similarly if you write x3 then what you have to write y1 minus y2 we have to write so in this way you can remember this formula is it clear now the next one is number two the second one how can you remember so just you have to write down the vertices one by one so first vertices we write x1 y1 second vertices you write x2 y2 and the third vertices we write x3 y3 after that again we have to repeat the first vertices whatever in the first place you write in the first vertices again you have to repeat x1 y1 after repeating now you see here the cross multiplication here according to the formula we have to write half then into then we put modulus and then we start the formula x1 y2 minus y1 x2 you see here we write this one x1 y2 minus y1 x2 plus second one you have to write x2 y3 minus y2 x3 you see here we write and the last one is we have to write x3 y1 minus y3 x1 x3 y1 minus y3 x1 
so in this way you can remember the formula so two technique or two methods are there you can use any one of this one both of them are comfortable so you can apply any one of this is it clear okay let's take an example to find out the area of a triangle so in this case you see we consider a triangle ABC with the coordinates 5 2 4 7 and 7 comma minus 4 so how can you find out the area of a triangle using the triangle formula so here both the techniques both the methods are applying here let's see the first one so if we consider the first coordinate is here x1 y1 if it is x2 y2 and if it is x3 y3 if we consider so we write accordingly 5 2 4 7 7 minus 4 and then the first coordinate or the first vertices again we have to repeat here which one is 5 2 now after that now area of a triangle abc if you have to find out then half into modulus why we put modulus you know because area of a triangle never negative so that's why we put modulus so here half into modulus of then first one what you have to do 5 into 7 minus 2 into 4 so that's why here written you see 5 into 7 minus 4 into 2 or 2 into 4 similarly second one we have to write 4 into minus 4 minus 7 into 7 and the last one we have to write 7 into 2 minus minus 4 into 5 so that's how we write this in this way if you calculate the answer you get 2 square units is it clear so now here the next method next technique if you apply here to find out the area of a triangle now let's see what you have so in clockwise direction you have to just write down the coordinates 5 2 4 7 and 7 comma minus 4 now according to the formula we have to write half into then we have to write modulus then the first x coordinate is what here 5 x1 into what you have to write y2 minus y3 what is y2 y2 is 7 and y3 is what minus 4 so that's why we write 5 into 7 minus minus 4 is it clear the next one is second coordinate we have to write x2 x2 means 4 x2 into y3 minus y1 y3 is what minus 4 and y1 is what minus 2 here we write then last one is x3 that means 7 if you write 7 then 5 minus or what you write 7 that means here y1 y2 y1 is 2 and y2 is 7 so 2 minus 7 so in this case you get 2 square units so any one method you can apply and find out the area of a triangle okay let's take an another example here now in this case you see again we consider a triangle abc with coordinates 2 3 4 0 and 6 comma minus 3 the same technique same method whatever we have done in the first one the same method we have to apply here so we write down the vertices 2 3 4 0 then 6 comma minus 3 2 comma 3 and then we apply the formula area of a triangle equal to half into then first one what you have to write 2 into 0 0 minus 3 into 4 minus 12 then second one 4 into minus 3 that means minus 12 0 into 6 minus 0 then the last one we have to write 6 3 is the 18 minus minus 3 to the minus 6 so after writing this formula now you see here in this case you get the area of a triangle is 0 if you calculate this result then you get area of a triangle is 0 so area of a triangle is 0 means what the meaning is that the three vertices whatever given to us or these three vertices are lie on a line is it clear because there is no area area is what zero area is zero means what all these three points all these three vertices are lie on a line for that reason the area of a triangle is here zero is it clear that means the meaning is what if any place if you get the area of a triangle is zero then you can directly say that three points are collinear or sometimes if in this way given the points are collinear then without writing anything we can directly write area of a triangle is equal to zero is it clear okay now let's take an, another example here <coughs> which one is find the value of k if a 2 comma 3 b 4 comma k 
and see 6 comma minus 3 are collinear you see here collinear mention if three vertices are collinear then what is the area of a triangle so area of the triangle is directly zero so since the points are collinear so therefore area of a triangle equal to zero and then in place of this area of a triangle you can apply the formula half into then modulus of this result equal to zero you have to calculate this and then you get the answer so this one is an example question from example number 14 page number 169 so you have to calculate from it is it clear okay now let's take another example actually this one is a question from your exercise exercise 7.3 i think this one is question number uh, 3 yes it is a question number 3 so now here question number 3 not written here this one question number 3 so now here three vertices are given to you a b and c is it clear so three vertices are we put here 0 comma minus 1 b 2 comma 1 and c 0 comma 3 now according to your question what we have to find out we have to find out the midpoint of each and every side so that means we have to find out the midpoint of a b then we have to find out the midpoint of bc as well as we have to find out the midpoint of ac after finding the midpoint these midpoints are d e and f we have to join these three midpoints and then again you see we get a triangle here and according to our question we have to find out the area of this triangle after joining the midpoint whatever the triangle we get we have to find out the area of this triangle and then after that you have to find out the ratio also ratio means the area of triangle def divided by the area of triangle abc then you get the ratio so first of all we have to find out the midpoint of ab bc and ac so already we know the midpoint formula what is the midpoint formula you see here midpoint formula is written here this one x1 plus x2 divided by 2 y1 plus y2 divided by 2 this one is the midpoint formula this midpoint formula we have to apply in each and every what is it so now here if you find out the midpoint of ab what you have to write 0 plus 2 divided by 2 minus 1 plus 1 divided by 2 so you see here we write 0 plus 2 divided by 2 minus 1 plus 1 divided by 2 after this you have, if you calculate this one then you get 1 comma 0 is it clear that means we get the coordinate d here in the same way you can find out the coordinate e with the help of bc and you can find out the vertices here coordinate vertices f with the help of ac after getting these three vertices easily you can find out the area of the uf using the area of a triangle formula and after finding the area of a triangle finally you have to find out the ratio ratio how can you find out you have to just write area of a triangle def divided by area of triangle abc and then just you have to find out put the value here area of a triangle def is how much and area of a triangle abc is how much you have to put it and convert into simplest form lowest form and then you get the ratio is it clear so in this way you can find out in this way you can solve this question so in this coordinate geometry chapter mainly these three contents are there distance formula section formula and area of a triangle so already we discussed these three so your task is what you have to complete this exercise 7.1 7.2 and 7.3 in your homework copy is it clear in homework copy you have to complete all these three exercises and some extra questions are also given to you through pdf you have to complete these questions also in your classwork copy as well as in your homework copy you can write this extra questions but the exercise questions are you have to complete in your homework copy is it clear okay thank you